<laughs> Fighting back tears, 11-year-old Magdalena Gomez Gregorio expressed to us her devastation being alone without her dad. Gomez, please put your heart. Let my parent be free with the, everybody else, please. Don't leave the child with cryness and everything. This came after ICE agents raided several food plants across Mississippi, arresting 680 people believed to be in the country illegally. While we are a nation of immigrants, more than that, we are first and foremost a nation of laws. But those children left behind and families impacted by each raid stress their parents and friends are good people. I need my dad for me. <laughs> my dad didn't do nothing. He's not a criminal. The children that I'm with right now, their mom been here for 15 years. She has no record, no nothing. A lot of people here has no record. They've been here 12 years, 10 years, 15 years. For Christina Persolta, who's the godmother of two children whose mom was arrested, she's felt helpless watching all day as the boys wonder when they'll see their mother again. He said that his mom is gone, that he's upset with Trump. He said he just wants his mom back. And they're both crying. They've been crying about all day since they got home from school. But with the help of Clear Creek Boot Camp owner Jordan Barnes and other community leaders, the kids will have a roof to sleep under at his gym for the night with donated food to eat. We're going to have bedding available for them, and we're going to get food for them just to get them through the night. And if they need transport to school in the morning, we can arrange that as well. And in times like these, those in Forest, Mississippi, stress you cannot forget the children going through all this. I understand the law and how everything works, but and everything has a system, but everybody needs to hold the kids first and foremost in their mind. Uh, and that's what we've tried to do here is just give them a place to stay, just to kind of ease the pain just a little bit.